Today I will be showing you how to use remote desktop connection to connect to a client computer from a host computer and to transfer files. Uh, you will have to bear with me because my computer is running pretty slow today. I don't know why but oh well, it happens eh? First of all, you will want to go to your client computer and go to your panel and your system remote and then this bit here where it says remote desktop you want to you want to tick that little box to say allow users to connect remotely to this computer that will let people connect to your computer exactly how it says you just tap ok now you can X that off um, next you want to bring up remote desktop connection I've got a shortcut here but to get to it you go to start all programs and then you go to X-rays you go to remote desktop connection you see there I've already pre-configured it but you want to go to your client computer and put in the IP address to find that out you can either go on to a website called whatismyip.com I think it's called that or you could do it from your, your computer you can go to CMD just by tapping start and then run and then you just put CMD it'll come up and you put in IP config and you see there that's my IP my client's IP is a slightly different one it's my other computer so you X that one off and you tap it in there um, if you want to transfer files as well the best way to do it is just by clicking options and then you go to local resources and where it says local devices and resources you want to tap more and then you want to tick the two boxes where it says drives and then supported play and uh, plug and play sorry devices tick both of them tap ok and then you just minus off the options tab and then you click connect this will take a couple of seconds to go up. normally comes up straight away and this is my client's computer and then uh, you tap in the username for the client and then the username's password. You do want to remember to put a password because I've had problems where I didn't put a password for it and obviously you just wouldn't let it connect without putting a password in so I had to add in the password and on this one this is the client computer so you've successfully connected to the client computer and you want to just go to start my computer and you see this is all the normal drives which are on the client computer and these ones down here are my own drives on my computer on the host and now just uh, go into my documents you just click on whatever the drive like the drive letter is for your like your main hard drive and you just go to documents and settings user but if your username isn't actually user you just tap in whatever it is and then you've got the documents and then transfer the files that you want where you just find it you just want to minimize it a little bit and say I'm just wanting to put a couple uh, put a song on or something you just go on to users music and then there's a file there you just click and drag it at the top and now this can be xed off obviously for bigger files it could take longer and then you got the properties and then you can see there that it isn't a shortcut and it is actually the full file you just tap ok and then you successfully transferred a file you can repeat this with pretty much anything as far as I know um, just to get off this you see this little bar up here you can either minimize it or you can you make it smaller or you can just completely close the connection you just close the connection that way and you click OK all for today if there's any questions or anything just message me or put your comments below thank you